Hi there. Welcome to MCSI. My name is Rosie and I'm one of your cybersecurity instructors. In this video, I will introduce you to the field of digital forensics, which is an interesting branch of cybersecurity. Let's get started. Our lives revolve around using multiple devices every moment of every day. It keeps us connected to people all over the world. There are people with unethical intentions who misuse the services by hacking into computers and networks. This misuse causes undesirable events like theft of money, data theft, identity theft, etc., which are referred to as cyber incidents. Let's talk about a scenario to understand what digital forensics is. Emma is here to tell us about an incident where digital forensics was put to good use. Thank you, Rosie. Are you excited to hear about this incident? The police had been tracking a group of diamond smugglers in South Africa. They received a tip that the smugglers had a secret hideout. The police made a plan to raid the smugglers in their hideout. When the smugglers heard the police, they escaped, leaving their electronic devices behind. The police discovered a number of laptops, mobile phones and USB sticks in the hideout. Their main focus was to understand what data was on those devices. They realized that they needed some cybersecurity professionals capable of retrieving information from those devices about past smuggling activities and future planned smuggling operations. Now imagine how much data would be present across all those devices. This is where digital forensics comes in. Digital forensics is the process of identifying and extracting sensitive data from electronic media, which will be classified as evidence. The evidence obtained from the various digital devices must be preserved carefully so it can be presented in a court of law. The collection of digital evidence or forensic evidence from electronic media is performed by highly trained and skilled digital forensics professionals. These professionals follow a standard methodology to perform digital forensics and collect evidence. Once evidence has been collected, the professionals attempt to gather intelligence from it. This process involves joining the dots between the various pieces of information. It is like putting together a jigsaw puzzle. It is possible to collect evidence from devices like laptops, personal computers, mobile phones, tablets, USB drives, memory cards, and even smart devices. The possibilities keep increasing as technology grows. In the scenario presented by Christie, you observed how the police force got the help of some digital forensics professionals to take down the activities of a smuggling ring. The science of digital forensics is all about extracting evidence, looking at the data present in front of you and interpreting what it tells you about the undesirable activity an individual had performed. Does digital forensics sound like something that interests you? Follow along with our next video to learn how to become a forensics professional. If you liked this video, please hit like and share this video on social media. Don't forget to subscribe to MCSI YouTube channel to receive more videos like this one. Join our online community of students learning useful cybersecurity skills if you haven't already. To register for a free account right away, go to our website. Happy learning and see you soon!